Ah, Shaniqua. As always, your timing is most fortuitous. I wish to share with you news concerning Zero. You will recall that, in exchange for Ether, she agreed to aid us in our search for my sister. At Ishtola's suggestion, I began providing said Ether in the form of food. Zero has found the arrangement to be agreeable, and has been eating steadily. In large part due to that, she claims to have already made a full recovery. If you and the others are ready as well, I would set forth for the void once more. Excellent. I shall inform Yishtola and Estinian, and then go to collect my other vessel from the alchemists. In the meantime, might I ask you to fetch Zero? She was absent when I visited her chambers earlier, but I suspect you will find her in the corridor connecting Yajay and Kama. It seems she's grown partial to the view of the city it affords. Once we have attended to our respective tasks, let us gather here. Everyone is so... carefree. Unafraid and unconcerned in spite of their weakness, and how easily their lives could be torn apart in an instant. Such luxuries are lost to us. We have no hopes or dreams, and even the release of death. Only hunger. Others are a means to an end, at times a literal one. We forge covenants with men and come here to feed, or to die. I thought it would be no different when I was summoned by Xenos. Lives were tools to him be used and discarded at whim. In that respect, he was a void sent at heart. But towards you, and you alone, he behaved... differently. And I cannot fathom why. What was it that drove him? What made him choose such an end? But enough about that man. He is dead and we are all better for it. Why are you here? Was there something you needed? Vritra wishes us to return to Megaduda. Everyone is ready to go back. So you're heading back now? Then as per our bargain, I will go as well. Everyone is here? Good. Let us set forth for the void once more. What is it? He 
He's calling. What is the meaning of this? Unless I'm mistaken, that was intended for one of your kin. Who? It was for the briefest of moments, but I felt her. Ashdayer. I thought she was in the void. As did I. Yet the presence was unmistakable. Thus did I call out, only for it to fade and vanish. Perhaps she crossed over to the source, then immediately turned back. I do not know. Could she have found a way home? The how of it aside, if she was indeed in the source, there may be clues where she came through that could lead us back to her. Where exactly was it that you felt her presence? Far to the north. That was all I could discern. The north, you say? Beyond the bounty, Garlemwald. As good a place to start as any. My apologies, Zero, but your return to the Void will have to wait. I told you before that I have no reason to go back there. Do as you will. All right. I presume you wish to stay here in Radzatan until we return? You've kept me amply fed. I wouldn't be averse to helping you on your search. If Ashdaya was indeed here, other Void Scent may have made the journey as well. Very well. We would welcome your company. If it's decided, then I'll contact our associates in Garlemald. It's me. Still talking everyone's ears off, I trust? Understood. We'll see you there. We're to rendezvous at Tertium. We'll need to teleport to make it there in time. Can you? Aye. I know it well from my time as an avatar. Then it seems we're all set. If there is nothing else, let us see to our final preparations. By all accounts, Aesdaja is Galbez's prisoner, yet if she was in the source, it could be that she managed to escape from the void, if only for a fleeting moment. But that is mere conjecture. If we want the truth, then we must go and find it. Come, let's make for Tertium. Our friends are waiting. I trust you know the associates who will be joining us. Hopefully they have been keeping well. I thought to depart from Rad's at Han sooner, but Yishtola insisted I bring warmer clothes. This vessel does not feel cold as such, but she reminded me that, so long as I am Vars Han, it would be prudent not to appear overly conspicuous. People live in such places, do they? Not that I would presume to know their preferences, but it seems, 
uncomfortable. Any moment now. My friends, tis good to see you again. And you. I was worried that the cold wouldn't agree with you, but you're both looking quite well. You get used to it. It helps that there's no shortage of fuel and heaters like before. Glad to hear it. Have you been working in Garlemald all this time? We have. But though the worst is behind them, the people still have a long road ahead. With the nation in ruins and the leadership void yet to be filled, there remains a lack of direction, a pervasive sense of aimlessness and worry. Still, everyone wants to make things better. And we're here to help. A lot of Garleans wanted nothing to do with us, but they're starting to come round. Slowly, but surely. It sounds like quite the undertaking. Indeed, it has not been easy. But we've been able to make progress thanks to the cooperation of like-minded souls. The Allied Nations continue to send supplies, which allow us to meet basic needs such as food and shelter. Meanwhile, Eulis and a number of soldiers have begun a restoration initiative, with more and more volunteers joining by the day. Like Alphano said, they've got a long road ahead of them. But we'll get there together, one step at a time. But enough about events here. What brings you to us? And with new company, besides? This may take rather a long time to explain, but bear with me. The thirteenth? After travelling to the edge of existence, I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home for a while. But I suppose there's no stopping you. Not that I'm one to talk, of course. The heart of an adventurer cannot be denied. You could have at least invited me, too. Surely there was room enough for me and Grahar in the Undersea Vault. I thought that you had your hands tied. I know, I know. I only meant to tease. <laughs> Mostly. But on a more serious note, are we sure it's wise to keep Xenos' former avatar around? I understand how you came to work together, but nevertheless, You're right to be cautious. I'm a void scent, after all. But do not conflate me with Xenos. To recall my time in his service, it... angers me. Is that so? I think we'll get along just fine, you and I. Now that we are all caught up, to the matter at hand. As we were about to resume our search in the void, I felt the presence of my sister Ajdaya in the source. 
somewhere in the far north, perhaps even here in Galmar. If you have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary, I must know. As a matter of fact, we may have. In recent days, we have had to contend with a surprising number of voids and, and not the lesser kind that occasionally manifest, but ones possessed of considerable power. You think they might have been summoned? By whom? We're not sure. But as Eulis reminded us, practitioners of a certain traditional Galian art rely upon void sent servants. The very same I believe you have mastered. While there are no known reapers left in Garlemald, we can't rule out the possibility that some are working in secret. To summon not one, but several powerful Voidsend is no small feat. But if Ashdaya was indeed called from the Void... Then it is likely the same party is responsible. Alternatively, the etheric confluence at the Tower of Babel may have triggered an expansion of natural fissures one could use to cross over. But I think that improbable, if not impossible. And we must assume these events have indeed been orchestrated. Well, summoned or no, we've been trying to track them to their origin. It's the mountains to the east, we think. Can you guide us there? I would, but the terrain is too difficult to traverse on foot. Nor is flying an option due to the winds. Too much ground to cover in any case. Is there no way to narrow it down? There is one place we thought to look first. An isolated village rumored to have once been home to a Reaper Order. That would indeed make an excellent start. Though the question of how to get there remains. Eulus may be of assistance. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass and consult him. Shinekri. What a welcome surprise. And I see you're traveling with a large crew as usual. Not to suggest that's an inconvenience for us. We'd be happy to share our supplies with you and your allies, should you require any. Apologies if we interrupt, who'll lose, but there is a matter we wish to discuss. We've just finished our routine briefing, so you come at a good time. Is this about the Void Sent? It is. From what we can discern, they're coming from the mountains to the east. Practitioners of the Reaper Arts once lived in that area, did they not? Yes, they had a village there in the Lapis Manali's caverns. The Scythe wielders forged packs with Void Scent, and took to battle with the beings at their side. For a time they played an invaluable role in our military, but the advent of Mahitake saw them fall out of favor. And when some were unmasked as insurrectionists, the order was outlawed. The village is believed to be long abandoned. Speaking of their art, it seems you've picked it up. Who was it that taught you? Well, I suppose it's neither here nor there now. 
My sister has been taken captive by Void Scent. I sensed her presence in this land, and have come in search of her. If Void Scent have been sighted here, then I believe there is a connection. We should like to investigate these caverns you mention, but Alphano tells us they are not easily reached. I'm afraid so. Deep snow and tumultuous winds rule out walking and flying. If you want to get anywhere, you're going to need a Mahitake snow craft. Alas, the last remaining functional one we had has broken down. Should still be over in Cerulea Engines, where it was abandoned. Is there anyone who can fix it? Perhaps the former engineers at Tapper's Den. Their duty included transporting ceruleum tanks to Jeterna Platform G using Snowcraft. I expect they had to maintain a few over the years. That's worth looking into, I'd say. In the course of delivering provisions, I've come to know the people there quite well. If they can help us, I'm sure they will. May I ask you to accompany her? Given the presence of Void Scent, it's best that we avoid traveling alone. In the meantime, will you not tell me more about the mountain? I would like to learn as much as I can before commencing our search in earnest. Come with me. I'll introduce you to someone who's well versed in the local geography. Alizé, was it? I wish to speak with you. In that case, why don't you come with us to Tapper's Den? We can chat on the way. If you want to eavesdrop, be my guest. It doesn't matter to me. What was it you wished to talk about? Why do you help these people? What is it that you stand to gain? I'm sorry? You don't act on behalf of a higher power, nor are you bound by a contract. In spite of this, you help them. Why? <laughs> and there I thought it was something serious. I help them because I want to. Because it's the right thing to do. But what do you stand to gain? You didn't answer the question. Didn't I? I followed my heart. What I got out of it came after. Was there anything else? If not, let's keep moving. Right. To act not out of obligation or in pursuit of gain. To simply live. And they survive like this. We should get back to it, but before we do. Are you alright, Zero? Did I say something that confused or upset you? No. I'm simply trying to understand your perspective. If you wish to continue, I am ready and able. Well, that's a relief. 
This isn't the sort of place you want to mull over things. It's not much farther to Tapper's Den. I doubt we'll have much trouble finding an engineer when we arrive, so let's speak with the first one we spot. Because it's the right thing to do. This is one of the engineers, I think. Wait, I know you. You're the one who roughed up the guards. After you left, your contingent friends came along. Our lives are a lot easier now thanks to them. They understood our plight, and offered to help, whether we wanted to stay here or return home. For that, we're truly grateful. We're grateful to you too, Alizea. The trip across the lake is hardly pleasant, but you make it all the same to bring us provisions. Oh, don't mention it. We're just glad we can help. That said, we were actually hoping to ask a favor of you today. We need a Mehitake Snowcraft repaired, the one abandoned in Cerulea engines. We were told you might be up to the task. Ah, so you want to ride the mammoth. That's what we took to calling the crafts on account of their size. As often as I used them on rigs, I know a thing or two about their maintenance. I'll see if I can get your mammoth roaring again, it's the least I can do to repay your kindness. Wonderful. Please come with us back to Camp Broken Glass, and we'll take it from there. So far so good, Shinikri. Let's be on our way. Thank goodness we were able to find someone to help with repairs. You mortals are more sensitive to the cold than I realized. My body is made differently, so I feel nothing. Don't you worry, the mammoth is in good hands. Welcome back. I presume this is the engineer who will help us with the craft. I'll do everything I can to get her up and running again. But I doubt I'll be able to do so quickly, at least on my own. The mammoth is big, and so are its parts. Some strong backs should make the work go faster. You have ours. You finished learning about the mountain, I take it? I, we have a solid grasp of that area, as well as the site of the snow craft. My back is perhaps not as strong as some, but I should be glad to stand guard for void scent and other unruly wildlife. Much obliged, miss. Then let's all head over to the mammoth and assess what needs fixing. They have matters here well in hand. Which means we can resume our duties. Would you care to assist us, Shinikri? How about you, Zero? I will assist you as well as payment for answering my question. It's hardly something that demands payment, but we'd be glad for your contribution nonetheless. I can't say I understand Alizé's answer, but a debt is a debt. At first I didn't know what to make of Zero, but her frankness speaks to me. I like her. My thanks again for agreeing to help. The Ilsebard contingent brings in shipments of food, medicine, and other necessities by airship. 
we have yet to deliver a share of supplies to Tertium, and I would appreciate it if one of you could assist us with the task today. I'll do it. Well, Shinikri. It looks like you're with me, then. Void scent sightings have been increasing by the day, which is why I had a mind to go out and patrol the Eblin Rhyme. Shall we? Void scent were spotted here not long ago. Considering the proximity to camp broken glass, everyone is understandably concerned, but hopefully not for much longer. You follow this road eastward, and I'll have a look to the north. If you should encounter any void scent, I won't begrudge you for dispatching them without me. You survey your surroundings, but do not spy any errant void scent. You survey your surroundings, but do not spy any errant void scent. Finished, are we? Good. The cold doesn't let up out here, does it? They've the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. But the measures are still only temporary. Subsisting on charity, dreading the day the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security. Though things will never be as they once were. If we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. If we're to achieve that, we have to work harder. I have to work harder.
You're already doing fantastic. Oh? L lest you misunderstand, I wasn't fishing for a compliment. As I said, I'm doing this because I want to. Still, I appreciate your support. Well, our work here is done. We should be heading back. I hope Alpha No and Zero haven't gotten into any trouble. I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Xenos' avatar. To not only suffer him, but so much else. <laughs> She's a fighter, all right. Like you and me. Thank you, miss. Thank you. This feels... strangely familiar. Excuse me, Alfano. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Do you think you could take a look at her? Of course. Give me a moment. Zero, may I leave the rest here to you? Fine by me. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Zero, was it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what you mean. Pact? No, no, nothing so formal. What I mean is, you must know each other well. Be on good terms, enjoy each other's company, that sort of thing. Then no, he's not my comrade. I have none. Nor will I ever, I think. Oh. Did I say something odd? No, not at all. On the contrary, it makes sense. When Alphino and the Contingent first arrived, we rejected them out of hand. Whatever they may have claimed, they were the enemy. Savages with their savage ways. To accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people they are. Makes sense they'd get along with someone like you who tries to push others away. Get along? I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. If you say so. Ah, I'd nearly forgotten why I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. I am running low on ether. Very well.
as in step style dumplings. Boots, they call them. Never had a dumpling. It's like a kind of bread stuffed with a filling, meat or vegetables usually, that you bake or steam. We have our own recipes in Garlemald too. My mother liked to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the jam-filled ones. J just think of it as bread, all right? I should warn you though, they're spicy. Helps them keep longer, I assume. Too much for the children to handle though. Interesting. Interesting good, or interesting... I don't know much about taste. Not anymore. But I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. <laughs> That's enough for me. I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavours. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Oh, Eulus, getting acquainted with Zero, are we? Um, I... I suppose I am. No harm in that. A quaint away. Ah, everyone is here. Excellent. Thank you all for your hard work. I've just finished up myself. Shall we go and find Estinian? Alphano! Alizé! I've got a bad feeling about this. This seems urgent. Well, shouldn't you see what's wrong? He was out on patrol, so if he's come back early, then... Forgive me the interruption, but I come with grave news. A horde of void scent are approaching from the mountains to the east. Their numbers are beyond anything we've ever seen. What? But Yishtola and the others? Anyone outside of Tertium is in danger. We must find and bring them all here at once. Can we count on your aid, Zero? I've already settled the debt for my question. I'm not obligated to help. What's more, death in this world is absolute. You ask me to put my life on the line. Without suitable payment, I will do no such thing. That's fair. What do we have to offer that might be enough? 
you're right, Zero. You're not obligated to help, and I wouldn't presume otherwise. Nevertheless, we are in need. Assuming the buas I gave you is worth anything, would you at least be willing to stand watch at this encampment? That way, more of us will be able to go out and see the people to safety. Very well. Unless we come under attack, I'll do no more than stand watch. I dare say Tertium will be safe enough with Zero here. Let us go and find Yishtola and the others, and assist with the evacuation. We need to find our comrades. Tertium will be fine. Ulus and his people have weathered far worse. We must make haste to the Snowcraft, where our friends and the engineer should be. Given their position, they may soon find themselves at the mercy of the Void Scent. If it comes to it, we must be prepared for battle. I'm ready, don't you worry. How about you, Shinikri? Upon departing from Tertium, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. In addition, you will be required to participate in battle. Your progress will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you will be able to try again from the most recent of these. Please note that if you enter battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, this progress will be lost. Report. Lost contact. When? Void sent. I'd bet my life on it. Understood. I'll investigate at once. A unit transporting supplies has gone silent en route to broken glass. I will go and search for it. Stay here and keep watch. But be ready to answer my call. If it was Void Scent, you'd be a fool to go alone. They'll find you before you find your men, and then they'll devour you as well. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I don't stand a chance, but I can't just abandon them. I can't repay you for the bread if you're dead. I'll go. What? No! I couldn't possibly ask you to do that! I'm far better suited to dealing with Void Scent. It makes sense. Or do you mean to say you'd rather I stay here because you can't protect this place on your own? Don't do anything stupid. Promise me.
Damn these demons! Return to the camp. Now. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Kindred, why do you interfere? Ah, of course. You sold your soul to feed. I have taken bread, but my soul is forever mine. not be denied. Okay. 
it be for their light to come through? Is this it then? Just like that time. When light still shone upon the world. When the Contra Memoria still raged. if you value your life. We're only after women and wine. Darkness can take the rest. You're not taking another step towards that village. Stupid girl. You were warned. Get back to our business. Yushtola and Astinian had matters well in hand, so we went where we were needed.
can you stand? We're not about to let your flame burn out today. All right. I will let it burn, this fire in my breast. Let it burn and rage and guide.
You did well to find me out here. We have Eulus to thank for that. He was quite worried when he called. It sounds like we should offer you our thanks. No. If it was not for you and the others, I... Well, let's not fuss over details. We should return to Tertium. Can you make it that far? I think so. Zero, are you all right? Well enough. No void sent struck here, did they? No, and there weren't any more casualties thanks to you. Oh. <sighs> what are you doing? You'll have no debts to repay, if that's what you're worried about. If anything, I owe you a week's worth of boots. For a mercy, there appears to have been no casualties in Tertium or elsewhere. Zero's convalescing aboard the train. Cool Luz has already given her something to eat, so I suppose all we can do is wait. I can't help but wonder, though, what possessed her to go and fight all those void sent on her own. Not that I know the going rate for such things, but I doubt one Buas would suffice. I think someone has been a bad influence on her. Oh, I'm just joking. Or am I? In any case, many people owe her their lives. I'll be sure to thank her when she's back on her feet. As Alizé said, many people owe Zero their lives. This is not her world, nor her battle to fight, yet she risked life and limb for us nonetheless. That will not be soon forgotten. Now then, I expect that our friends will return soon. Once everyone has gathered, we can take stock of the situation. Apologies for the delay. I've finished replenishing my ether. Full glad am I to hear it. We must thank you again, Zero. Indeed, many are still alive because of you. Those soldiers not least of all. How fared you? Better than I did by all accounts. We had to contend with our fair share of void scent and route to the snow craft, but we had the benefit of numbers. With their help, we quickly dispatched all the void scent that came our way. Thankfully, they stay dead in our world. We were trying to decide what to do next when we received word about the transport. 
which is how Alizea, Shanekri, and I came to find you. While the immediate threat has been addressed, we cannot rest easy yet. For Void sent to appear in such numbers, we must assume that a Void Gate has indeed been opened nearby. Meaning more of them can come through at their leisure. It seems the best course of action is to investigate Lapis Manales, as you intend. What is the state of the snow craft? Nearly operational, I believe. Vitra is with the engineer, who is hard at work as we speak. Why don't we join them in Cerulea engines? Finally, a chance to go on the offensive. I would join you as well. I wouldn't dream of refusing you. But, what did you have in mind for payment? Payment won't be necessary. I will do this because, I want to. You have, kindled something within me. A compulsion, a desire to act, that has been burning since you came to my aid out in the snow. I do not understand it, but I wish to, and to that end I will heed it. Then perhaps I'll understand your answer. I would also like to join you in tracing the void sent to their origin. Though that would mean neglecting my duties here. Don't worry about us. Between my people and the contingent, we can keep things running well enough. Just find where the void sent are coming from, and see that they stop. Take care, Zero. I will.